beautiful bugs and welcome back to another episode on the Obsidian Order. So a lot has happened since the last episode and I am super excited about it. As you can see, I've got some new armor-ish. <laughs> I had the, the diamond armor, however, now I have the coast armor trim on it. Sunfire was kind enough to gift me some of those as I was, you know, giving him a lot of gravel and stuff to help with his build. And so in exchange, he gave me some of these since he does live out in an ocean. <laughs> so he's like, here, you can have some of these. So now I have, now I'm rocking some cool purple and blue armor. So it, yeah, and it also goes to my shirt. So that's, that's kind of cool as well. But that's not all that's happened because as you can see, yeah, lots and lots and lots of chests over there. So that is all for a giant build I'm planning. However, that is not the plan for today. I just wanted to give you guys just a little, yeah, a little sneak peek, a bit big, huge, gargantuan. So basically, yeah, wherever the, the torches are, that's like, oh, and, and of course it decides to rain too. So we come all the way over here as well. Yeah, that is all going to be one giant build. So I'm still, yeah, I'm still working on gathering stuff for that. And yeah, so it's like, you know, mm, mm, we're going to, we're going to go work on a different project because in between episodes, yeah, Vid, Vid got me, um, he got me a beacon, a full beacon. So all the, the iron, I mean, great, we do have an iron farm, but yeah, full beacon and place it down at my base next to the, um, the actual, the wood farm that I have over there. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we need to do some other farms and stuff. So I'm going to steal that beacon and I'm going to go build a slime farm. <laughs> Sweet. Good thing. Yeah, Av Avalar. Av oh my gosh, poor Avalar. He, um, yeah, he's, he's been having a hard time getting beaten by, by one of the, um, the, the Minecraft bosses. But yeah, so I'm going to end up building a slime farm because Vid, he was kind enough to get me the, the beacon stuff. So I'm going to go and build a slime farm so that he can then build other farms that he has on his list. So let's go attack some chunks. All right, so here we are at the area that we're going to be putting in the, the slime farm. As you can see, I've already started just, just the top bit right here. And honestly, one go around pretty much fills my inventory. So this is <laughs> this is gonna be a long process. However, I've got, you can see the torches over there. There's a ladder that goes all the way down to where we need to dig down to. And I've got a storage system already started there. Probably gonna end up needing more chests because yeah, like I said, one go round, it pretty much fills up my inventory. I was able to find four chunks that were right next to each other on chunk base. And so fingers crossed chunk base is right. Cause this is, this is the, and, and that I actually interpreted it right because yeah, cause it said I'm, I'm double checking. Yeah. Five, one, three, negative one, four, one for the, yeah, for one of the chunks. And then over here we have five, one, three, negative one four two yep for the chunk <laughs> it's like you know now that we're talking about it i might want to double check so five one twelve or five twelve and negative one four one okay so yes <laughs> the chunks are what it says on chunk base are the slime chunks so we need to dig this all the way down to a negative one so we're at 62 we need to go to negative one so 63 levels down yeah this is this is gonna be fun <laughs> So I'm going to go get to work and then, yeah, if I find anything interesting along the way, other than the amethyst where the beacon is all the way down to the bottom, there's actually an amethyst right there that it's actually next to. So I have yet another amethyst that I've run into. I swear, I have the best luck finding amethyst this season. It is, yeah, it's, it's rather amusing considering that I don't need it this season. So yeah, so I am going to, yeah, take on this chunk. So I've hit my first major snag. Now, when I was putting in the beacon, I knew that there was going to be some water here. However, you know, there, there's a lot of water. It's not just a little bit of water. This is a full on like cavern that, or maybe ravine that is filled with water. So yeah, I've got a whole bunch of water to remove. And then this doesn't even include, there's an actual aquifer that's a little bit further down, which I ran into, which may actually be less water than this. So now I've got to, yeah, I've got to clean out the water here. I've got, yeah, I've got some gravel, so I may end up using that. Um, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to see how that goes. I'm definitely going to have to start looking at repairing my tools here soon. This, uh, this, uh, shovel is already pretty much taken care of. And then this is my second pick <laughs> and yeah, this is that. Yeah. That's as far as we've gotten. <laughs> so we still have yeah 53 more levels to go so yeah i think i've only gone down 11 
<laughs> so, still lots of stuff to do with just, a, you know, one snag that we hit. So, I'll have to see, yeah, about trying to get all of this drained. So, I thought I had done another clip for this video showing you guys the giant hole that I dug. But then, yeah, went and I didn't have anything. So... <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I didn't have anything to actually show you guys, like, the finished hole and what I had dug out. Because I think what happened is that I would originally started actually doing it for a time lapse and then realized that, yeah, this was going to take absolutely forever. It ended up taking me about five hours because of all the water. And, yeah, so I didn't have that. And then I got to work on decorating and all of that. And, yeah, so we have a, uh, we have a decorated farm. <laughs> um, I still need to put in the actual, yeah, you can see that I've started getting things ready to put in the different layers and stuff but i wanted to get the walls done because once i put in the layers it's going to be a lot harder to do the actual walls because there's going to be more slime and i'm going to get attacked and all of that and so it's like all right let's decorate the outside and then i can do the layers and you know after adding in the little areas to you know take them out and collect all their you know slime balls and stuff so <laughs> yeah I um, uh, I feel so bad because, yeah, I was going to show you guys what it looked like without all the decoration. And, yeah. <laughs> but we have now an actual, you know, nice decorated area for the slime farm. Next step is going to be... Oh, my gosh. There's so many slime that just, like, spawn, despawn, and all of that. It's, it's funny. So, next step is going to be getting in all the little chambers on the sides here. So, there's going to be four of them. And then I'm going to end up bringing it up probably about... Yeah, about ish here. And then shoot them all over in a uh, water stream. And then I'm thinking of doing a little house like over here to actually store all the slime balls and stuff. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that or maybe just like a little stable or something. I mean, you guys, technically we're in the Greco-Roman area. So I'm not sure if I want to do something along those lines over here or not. So still still on the fence on that. But we have a farm to actually get into place. So that is going to be the first thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to get to work on finishing this up. And then, yeah, try to get something to bring all the slime balls to. All right, so this is going to be the last status update before I start closing everything up, both in terms of the storage area that's going to be over here as well as the farm. But as you can see, I've got everything done up. All the redstone is in place. The only thing I now have to do is add in the platforms as well as the iron golems on the sides in order to entice the slimes to go over there and then fall onto the magma blocks. Now, there should already be some magma blo or um, some slime balls in here. So right here, this is where it's going to end up coming up. But if we come down, this is one of the reasons why. Oh, okay, maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Okay. I might have. Yeah, there should have been some slime balls that came through here. Unless they, yeah, just didn't end up going through. Uh, we might have some just kind of hanging out. But we have these here. And if we come through here, so we got all this area here where the slime balls will end up coming through. This is one of the uh, magma or magma block areas, and then this is one of the magma block areas. And so the items will end up coming through here. I already had some come through, so I'm wondering what happened to the stuff that the one slime had. Because I saw one go onto the magma blocks, and I thought they had perished. But I could be wrong, or I might have been, yeah, I don't know. Like, what was going on with that? But we'll check down here. But as you can see, the they end up coming through here. Yeah, there's no... Okay. So, it must not have gotten picked up. Or I have a minecart that stopped. Which is a possibility, too. I need to make sure that all that is closed up. But I wanted to make sure to bring you guys in before I kind of closed everything up. And made sure that everything was nice and all of that. So, they'll all come here. It had already... Yeah, it already come through here before. And so it was one of those that, yeah, I, I'm, it's probably something, something got caught up somewhere, either like a minecart that got stopped or, you know, something. Um, I'll have to double check that. And so all of this will come up here and then this goes all the way up. And then this is going to empty out into a storage area. So I've got a plan for a build to uh, hold a whole bunch of chests so that people can AFK here. And then um, also with overflow and all of that. So then the next step is going to be to get everything in place down there on the, the floors and the build up here. So I'm going to get to it. Shine bright up all night, whenever slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta 
done so we now have a, a complete farm as you can see from here we have a hole that goes all the way down so we got four of those and then lines of iron golems all the way up and down so that the slimes end up going through here now we definitely get a pretty good rate <laughs> yeah we're already getting slimes you know spawning in which is kind of awesome so all you have to do is kind of go in there and then i put in a little afk spot where you can go up on the top you know top floor and kind of afk and yeah, and get all your slimy needs fulfilled. <laughs> so yeah, definitely really happy with all of this. It definitely took a while, which is all right. We've got, yeah, oh my gosh, we're getting all kinds of slime spotting in. And we're not even, yeah, we're not even away from the farm. So definitely happy with the way all of this ended up coming out. Now in here, we have all of the storage. And so as you can see, this was just, I, I think I AFK'd for maybe like an hour. And so, and then some, sometimes, yeah, they still end up coming over here into the second chest. Granted, I think, I think I may have overdone the, uh, the storage a little bit. <laughs> Just a smidge. Somebody would literally have to AFK here for quite some time. And I really don't think we're going to need this much slime. But we, we have it. And yeah, I mean, I can end up using this build somewhere else that needs a giant storage room. <laughs> but yeah, so let me come back out here so I can show you the build properly. So if you come up here. Now, for those of you who are OGs on the channel, you might recognize this from the Diamond Society days. So this is a modified, purified, and all of that version of the Greco-Roman farmhouse I had done over there. And I wanted to make this look a lot better. And then since, yeah, since that, oh my gosh, they've added so many new blocks. Like, you know, you got the quartz brick and, and yeah. So definitely huge changes in what you can do uh, in terms of building. So I definitely wanted to revamp all of that. In fact, that's kind of been uh, a theme on my channel is to take some of the older stuff and make it new, especially with the new blocks. Yeah, definitely really happy with the way this came out because originally it was stone and the acacia, but oh my gosh, the terra, the yeah, glazed terracotta with quartz. Ah, yes, absolutely perfect for this build. So I ended up putting the sheep that I was using for the to get the wool for our pixel art over here. Um, I put those guys over there so that you know they they have a nice little home. And then over here, this is our teleport point. Granted, yeah, not happy with the fact that you can see the command block through it, but. It's a transparent block. There's not much that you can actually end up doing with it. So we can go ahead and look over here and check out the side. Now, for the back here, the back is pretty, yeah, pretty empty. My original thought was to go ahead and plant some trees up against it. However, I kind of want to work on this Greco-Roman area uh, once I start getting some more of the, or, yeah, getting done with a lot more of the projects that I have already on my list. Cause oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> there are so many projects that need to be done. Now, if we come in here, 
we got a little closet with that and then oh and then here that's where I was originally had all my storage though I've already gotten everything out of there uh for the most part we'll say for the most part over here I ended up adding in a little kitchen area and then up here is where you can end up going to AFK so I just ended up putting in this little here area here so that yeah you can go in there and AFK and not have to worry about any kind of critters, like especially the zombies coming and getting you. Because they can still break these doors. I don't have this as zombie proof doors because sometimes those can be a little finicky. But that way, you know, you can go upstairs and you've got the iron door that stops them. And then, yeah, the ladder not being at the very bottom, that kind of stops them too. But they could always go up here and then get caught on here. So that's one of the reasons I was like, ah, we'll go ahead and do the iron door. So yeah, so that is the end of the uh, slime farm project. Now there is one more project that I want to show you guys, which is kind of integral to kind of like the lore of the actual server. So I'm going to head back to the capital and I'll show you that. Now, one of the things that I forgot to address in the last clip was the fact that I have a mini map in the top right of my screen. And there are several of us who decided that, especially with how big this world is and how everybody is spread out, and we've got all these, you know, places that <laughs> were popping up everywhere, it would probably be good to actually have a map that we can access. So we have, you know, there's there's a mini map and then there's also the big map. Now, granted, with the big map, I'm really gonna appreciate that this because, you know, it's one of those, especially for planning purposes and all of that, it'll be nice to actually have something along these lines because like we have all of this area to, to kind of plan out and stuff and expand it all out. But yeah, so we've got the big map and then the little map to kind of help us find where everything is because yeah, it's, there's a lot this season, oh my gosh. <laughs> So a lot of people are like, yeah, really glad that this is actually a forever world because of the fact that yeah, I'm not going to be able to absorb all of this in one get go. Now, one of the things that we decided is that we're not actually going to have like a shopping area like we normally do. And so sometimes you'll have little pop up shops like over um, Ander has over next to his TP point, which is right there. He's got some chests for some books that he's selling and you could just buy those. And then, but the main thing is, is that we're actually having vendors set up. So we got these villagers. So these are actually custom villagers. And so if we come over here, we've got spawn eggs that people can end up buying. And then, um, if, this is the farmer's guild. And so seeds and all of that. And then over here, we got the masons. This is where you end up buying your different materials and stuff that aren't going to be farmable. And then in the very back here, if we get here, in fact, yeah, we've got Fizz with his shop here. Um, he's sending, he, yeah, he's, he's outpricing that mending villager. So <laughs> the guild master isn't too happy with them. Now back here is Adela's. So Adela did this one. So this is the artisan. So back here is where you buy like your banner patterns. Your, uh, let's see, there's, oh, I, uh, I forgot to name this one. So the smithing templates and stuff. And then there's other stuff in the back there as well. So people can come here and they basically get vouchers from the banker in the center here. So you can trade in cobblestone and deep slate, uh, lapis and mm, let's see, lapis, diamonds. Yeah, deep slate and cobblestone. And so you trade that stuff in and then you can end up trading, you know, getting vouchers and stuff that you can then use at the different vendors around here. Now, the what I wanted to show you. Well, uh, first and foremost, this one was done by Sunfire. So he was actually the one that ended up doing the very, very first one. And then he even set up a little mini game that we had going on called Hitting the Books. <laughs> so that was, yeah, that was a fun little mini game. Kind of, kind of regretted having done it first. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I can't really run through it. Sunfire showed me what it was. And so he had me do a run through it. I'm like, but, but, but <laughs> it's like, no, I can't run it. But that's all right. So over here, this was one that I ended up doing. So we have just, yeah, I try to make it look like a farmer market kind of thing and then I really took advantage of the fact that you have the spore blossoms as well as the cherry leaves that give off these little particle effects and it really felt like um because when I see these it's almost it almost like is a smell for me so it's one of those that with all of these it's like, like brings out that smell of like flowers and green and and all of that so one of the reasons why I wanted to incorporate that in here and then also had the the little farm here and then little sheepies. So if anybody needs to come over here and get some wool, they can shear them and, you know, and then make a bed if they don't have one. And then back here we have a little farm for, uh, for the, 
the vegetables and all of that. So that in case like Adela, who doesn't eat meat, needs emergency food because of, you know, like a death or something, then she can come over here and get some food and then be able to be on her way um, to getting back her stuff. Oh, and there is oh, these these oh my gosh we've actually been uh, yeah apparently we've been letting storms go a lot on this server because yeah they keep showing up <laughs> i've already gotten four of the horses so i don't want to get anywhere close to that one because yeah there's it's probably gonna end up triggering the trap <laughs> oh my gosh but yeah so these are the farmers and so yeah really happy with the way this ended up turning out and just the yeah a little bit of nature and all of that which is a little bit different than you know the projects that um yeah Oh, and Avalar's in trouble. So a little bit of, you know, um, extra stuff to, to kind of, you know, make this, you know, feel like a farmer's market. So yeah, so we definitely got a lot done in this episode. So we've got the slime farm done as well as the farmer's market over here. So I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.